the shafts are from Fujita Golf. Uh, in fact, I think this is the most accurate and consistent shaft that I've ever seen. And we've got the shaft in a clamping fixture. And what we're going to do, we put a, a chuck on the end here that uh, goes on like this. <clears throat> Get it off there. It's totally round. We put it on and we pull the shaft back and let it go. And you can see how consistent the chuck bounces back and forth. <clears throat> but what we're going to do is we're actually going to make it, we're going to take it a step further. We're going to put a laser beam on the end of it here. And turn the laser beam on. And I'm going to start this shaft off at a certain point right here. And then I'm going to keep turning it around and show you. But you can see the laser beam. So I'm going to pull it back and let it go. All right, you see how consistent the beam bounces back and forth? I'm going to turn the shaft. I'm going to pull it back and let it go. See how consistent it bounces? I'm going to turn it again. Pull it back, let it go. And then I'm going to turn it again. Turn it back and let it go. All right, you can't get any better than that. That's perfection. All right. Now we're going to take another club, another shaft. Uh, in fact, we're going to shoot a shot of this Fujita, Fujita icing suit we're talking about. And then we're going to take a tailor-made shaft and do exactly the same test. All right, now here's a shaft from a TaylorMade, uh, one out of their current product. I've done the same thing. I put the chuck on here. It's in the clamp right here. I'm going to pull it back and let it go without the laser to start off with. <clears throat> and you can see how bad that shaft oscillates out of plane. Now I'm going to put the laser beam on there to make it easier for you to see. Okay, you want your shaft going in a circle like that? I don't think so. All right, now I'm going to take and turn it like I did the other one. Pull it back, let it go. All right, does very good going that direction. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to turn the shaft again. Okay, you can see that it goes in a different direction than before. I'm going to turn it again. All right, there's that shaft again. All right, I'm going to turn it back to where I started at. All right, and you can see how bad that shaft is. All right, and now what we're going to do is I'm going to turn out the light so that you can see it even more dramatically. <clears throat> this is a potential for a wild shot. All right, now, now we're recording. I'm going to pull it back and let you see the laser beam. And you can see how much, we'll see how much better it shows up. All right, now I'm going to turn the shaft. Okay, now it's going in a different direction, all kinds of different directions. Turn it again. All right, I'm just showing you this is a tailor-made shaft. Okay? 60 grams. 60 grams. All right, going to turn it off. All right, here we are back at uh, day, I mean darkness uh, with the Fujita Red Dragon shaft. And I'm going to pull it back and let it go. See how consistent it is. All right, I'm going to turn the shaft. I'm going to pull it back and let it go. Same consistency. Okay, I'm going to turn it again. Same consistency. Turn it one more time. There's the shaft I want my golf clubs, the Red Dragon by Fujita.